we are going to take a look at this next model, model number 31. And maybe, Phil, you could tell us a little bit more about these runners. We got a few more fun facts about these runners. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me just back up oh, a man, this there. might be the hardest part about having to be a runner on this show is to have this many facts about yourself. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> Whoa, all right. So we got Great Nate building his own 3D printer, electric go-kart. I would love to hear more about that, maybe in an offline setting, and even a robot arms. That's amazing. That being said, he also has his projects on his own YouTube channel. So Nathaniel Black, if he wants to put that in chat when he gets a moment later after he uh, dries off those hands from the sweat, we could get that in there. For Outside sure. of that, it looks like we have Ricardo Jean lives in Brazil and well, he was born in Brazil, but now lives in Italy. That's amazing. I'm actually jealous of that nonetheless. Cool. Well, these guys both have a lot of experience. I know building your own 3D printer, building your own go-kart, that's going to take a lot of experience, a lot of 3D CAD to get that up and running. But drawing up the historical F40, that's also going to take a lot of experience, a lot of CAD. So, man, these guys, this is, uh, I can't wait. I got to shake it off. I'm nervous myself just watching this. So here we go, guys. This next CAD battle is going to be between Great Nate 08 and Ricardo Jean, the Wheel of Fate has spoken. We're going to take a look at model number 31. This CAD battle between Great NATO 8 using Fusion 360 from the United States and Ricardo Jean using SolidWorks from Italy begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture of this part. This part is called Nozzle. It is in MMGS and plain carbon steel. Little carbon steel nozzle here. And it's got some draft on it. These two faces are drafted at eight degrees. Looks like our runners both have that screen capture. Let's move over and take a look and see what they come up with for this thing. So what do you think about this part, Phil? Better them than me. That's what I'm going to tell you at the end of the day. But overall, I would say at first look, it does look quite, quite brutal. And it would be way worse if I had to do this competing against these experts. But like most parts, you stick to the basics, what you know, and you're going to get there. And as I always tell people, you know, it's, it's not how you get there. It's just getting there is the most important part, right? Yeah. One thing that I've noticed a lot of our runners doing is what Ricardo Jean is doing there on the right, which is to really almost overuse slot tools. Like I've noticed that our, our runners, like if there's ever a lug sticking out of the side of a, of a housing, they'll use the slot tool to generate the geometry for that lug. And here we see once again, Ricardo Jean deciding to use the slot tool. I think there's so much value in the slot tool that people underutilize. And uh, definitely if there's one lesson that I take away from this whole experience, it would be really learn how to use the slot tool in your CAD program. There's There could be a lot of time savers in there. I'm not going to lie, I was watching some warm-ups earlier when we were kicking this show off, and Great Nate himself was trying to make an actual slot around a radius, you know, kind of, and there's tools for that that you forget about because you get so stuck in your ways or you the outside of the box thinking where you're just like, oh, I'm going to do it this way, not knowing there's an actual specialty tool for it, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that's kind of the cool thing about this this whole experience, too, is like if you go to practice models, tutaltobi.com slash practice, you can you can really work on models that you would have never worked on at your job. And then you get exposed to those tools like that arc slot tool. So, guys, huge shout Correct. out. To, to I mean, I've even thought about possibly posting on my own channel, people watching me fumble through making two tall Toby parts. But I think it might be easier for me to hire somebody like Great Nate to show people the way it's done. <laughs> that might be the way to do it. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Rockcrawler in the chat, keeping the super chat going. Thank you so much, Rockcrawler. Very glad that you are enjoying this session. I got to tell you, I am so enjoying this session. This is so cool to see these two guys battling it out. We see Ricardo Jean on the right was able to come through, was able to create the first couple of features. It looks like maybe Great Nate is struggling a little bit on the left, trying to come up with that first grouping of features. Um, we could, you know, we could definitely see this time around. It looks like maybe Ricardo's pulling ahead a little bit more than last time, but it is far from over. There's a lot of geometry in this model. There is hands down and it, it looks simple. And when you look at somebody that plastic injection molds these 10,000 at a time, you're like, oh, that doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, this is this is uh, something that can really catch up. I love how Great Nate used that pattern there. That was such a good 
Uh, such a good pattern there that he was able to create and then get those fillets on there like almost immediately. He looks like he's back. He's back in. One thing I it is fun. This is, I mean, to say the least, is it's kind of I've always noticed no matter where I've been, whether it be CAD or CAM, every software has pros and cons, and it's how you play them to your advantage to what you're doing and the task you're doing. Because it's I seen Ricardo pattern things as a sketch that I would have never personally patterned because I always like to get to a model, and it's just crazy to see the speed and the efficiency of these guys or the way they think. Yes, yeah, I agree completely. And it's, it's uh, one thing that I've noticed about the Autodesk products is that a lot of times it seems like the runner is, is almost like down and out, and I look away from their screen for a moment, and then I look back and it's like, oh, no, actually they're almost done with the model. Like, it's, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like maybe the way that certain features hide and show that I'm not used to, but there's just been so many times during this tournament where I've looked away from the Autodesk user, and then I come back, I look, look away, look back, and they completely surprise me with how much progress they've made. Yeah, I mean, it is it is exactly like that. And I, again, going back to training people, I always tell them, don't be precise on the front, be pre precise on the rear. And that tends to help everybody with those sketches when you're first getting started is, mm. you know, get the shape. Don't worry about the dimensions, add the dimensions later. And it looks like we have somebody coming yeah, in here. Yeah, we might be seeing an answer here. Be, oh, Nathaniel Black, great Nate 08, coming in with one, one, one grams. And that is correct. Wow, wow, wow. Woo! My heart was racing. Once again, just incredible. Incre exactly what we were just talking about. You know, I was looking at Great Nate at the beginning, and I was like, oh, he's out. You know, Ricardo's got this. Ricardo had so many features right away. And then just complete Cinderella story come from behind. My goodness, that was awesome. Wow, wow, wow. GG, GG. So much fun to watch these matches. And whoo. Mr. Allison, if you're still out there watching with your class, you guys are you guys are getting a show. Man, oh man, this is cool. I would, honestly, I would be curious after these guys drawing these parts the first time to hear what they would want to do the second time. Because mm. there's things that we all do in the heat of the moment. We think back later, probably waking up at 2 a.m. like myself going, <laughs> you know what would have won that for me? Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know if anything would have won that for Ricardo. Great Nate 08 came through there so fast. So much speed. Wow.